Hi guys, I'm Michał Ożołek and in this video I'm gonna present you a destruction system, a set of blueprint templates that helps to quickly add an interactive destruction of objects in Unreal Engine 4. So let's get started. But first, let me introduce the idea behind the destruction system. See, most of the modern games allow players to do more. You can interact with virtual environments in various ways, like destroying small props with guns, hammers, cutting screens, smashing pumpkins in your garden, kicking vision poster stands, or street cones. Even older games had destroyable objects back then. It's because, generally, everyone loves destruction. Anyway, such interaction in your games adds details and the destruction system can help you with that. Here's how it works. You start with collecting static meshes that represent objects' different state of damage. Let's take this bottle as an example. So, first state. Think of it like it's a brand new object, not destroyed, untouched. Then the second state, partially or semi-destroyed. And finally, completely destroyed, like only small pieces are left. Ok, so now by applying damage to your object, you can easily control how it changes into another one. So let's say that your gun makes 100 damage points while shooting. So you shoot the bottle once and you shoot the head off. Next bullet leaves only small pieces. You can set the bottle to be stronger or more resistant by increasing health points. 200 for example. Now, you need to shoot the bottle twice in order to change into a second state. Of course, you can do the other way around, making the bottle much weaker. The thing is, health points work as a threshold for each damage state. To make a smoother transition between states, or make it less noticeable, you can introduce some particle systems. And it's pretty simple. Particle emitter is activated once object changes its state. Additionally, transition sound effects are supported. So, in our example, particle system with flying tiny glass pieces and some glass breaking sound effect will do the job. And you may now ask yourself, what happens if the object is in the last state and you still apply some damage to it? So, you've got two options. You can make the last state permanent, meaning that the object will no longer react to any damage, and it's useful for bigger objects that, once shot or smashed, they just indicate that they are destroyed or damaged. For example, the TV set. This one has only two states. The second option is a little bit more complex, but also more interesting. Debris elements. You can set up the blueprints so debris are created once the last state is destroyed. Think of them like a small piece of geometry spawned with a position offset and a random impulse. They can support physics simulations so collision with other objects in your level is available. Let me show you an example. Here's our old friend glass bottle and here I've added several debris elements to the list. Spawn offset and impulse are random values based on the range defined here. This makes the object behave differently every time you run the simulation, which is good I think. Here's another example of using debris elements. Here we've got only single state of damage, so object turns into debris immediately. You can enable shadow casting for each piece if you need a better quality here. But remember, debris elements are physical objects and dynamic shadow may affect your performance. And saying of performance, you can introduce some optimization. Simply set debris destroy delay to a value different than zero. The value uses seconds so you can define when they disappear and are not being rendered anymore. Ok, that pretty much summarizes all features of the system I wanted to show you. Let's just watch other examples. 
Of course, all assets that you saw in this video are included in the package so you can check how they were created or use them as a guideline for your objects. I hope you enjoyed this short presentation and if you got any questions just let me know in comments. Thanks.